And here we are, Disney California Adventure for Rope Drop in the morning. Due to some higher level of crowds at the parking garage that I wasn't anticipating, we actually didn't get in here until 8.04 a.m. So we kind of missed the actual rope drop rush, but uh, we should still be pretty good for our strategy here this morning. Uh, this is actually a really good idea if you don't want to wait in line to actually show up after eight o'clock because if you get here at 7 30 you're just going to be standing in line here in this area that i'm going to show you in a second doing absolutely nothing until eight if you are not a disneyland resort hotel guest that is the disneyland hotel grand californian hotel and the paradise pier hotel guests you're going to be stuck in this area until eight o'clock oh look we got a vampire or bat mickey or something over there coming this way hey mickey mouse Hotel resort guests can get into the park and start riding rides at 7.30 a.m. The gates actually open up at 7.20 a.m. for all guests to, you know, get people in here for those early entry guests. If you want to go to Radiator Springs Racers first thing in the morning, I'd actually highly recommend you either show up at 7.20 or if you are an early resort guest, you, you know, ride rides until about 7.55, 7.50-ish and then go get in line for Radiator Springs Racers at that time. Otherwise, if you're like us, there is no hope of you getting on Radiator Springs Racers at a decent time. You'll pretty much lose the whole uh, morning, the whole golden hour, as we call it, uh, being stuck in that line. But honestly, the park looks pretty empty. We are here on a Sunday. It is an Oogie Boogie Bash Sunday. And that means that if you have a single day ticket, and a one park per day, you're probably avoiding DCA. You're going to Disneyland because DCA closes at 6 p.m. tonight, which means that we might actually find a really, really fantastic morning here at Disney California Adventure. We always come over here to Pixar Pier first. Uh, Radiator Springs Racers already up to a 50 minute wait at 8.05 in the morning. That is exactly why I say don't go down there. 95% of the people coming to this park are going to that ride first. Hardly anyone comes over here to Pixar Pier. So if you want a nice chill morning, come to Pixar Pier. Now the last time we did this video six months ago, it was an absolute miserable fail because uh, the ride that we always go to first, Toy Story Midway Mania, was closed and then something else was closed and we went to go ride Radiator Springs and it was closed and it was just, it was a massive failure last time so we're hoping to correct that this time and show you what we intended to show you then and here we go toy story midway mania is open thankfully five minute wait so it's a walk on literally like that's just the back of the line right there <laughs> uh, so this is gonna be fantastic this ride gets up to a 50 60 minute wait later on in the day so perfect time to come ride it who are you riding with and who are you going to beat? Dad! <laughs> How do you do it? Like that? You pull the, pull the cord? Wow! 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 Alright, let's see how we did. 277, pretty decent. Benjamin, 59,000. I think that might be our highest score. You did a great job. Did I beat you? No, but you came close. Yeah. Next up, we're coming over to the Incoretta Coaster. Now, we're going to check Benjamin's height. I'm pretty sure he's nowhere near 48 inches, but we want to see anyway. Um, you still got about an inch to go, buddy. Oh, maybe about a half an inch, actually. You're getting really close. So it's just me and James on this one. Mommy and Benjamin will go ride Jesse's Critter Carousel. Isn't this beautiful? This is perfect. Wow, that was so quick. We might have beat Benjamin and Amy off the, uh, the carousel. <laughs> oh, we went on that so quick. Walked right on. It was amazing. Hi, Benjamin. Hi, Amy. <laughs> Hi, Benji. <laughs> I just, I just can't believe that we beat you. <laughs> Time check, it's 8.40 a.m. now at this point, and everything in the park is a five-minute wait, with the exception of Guardians of the Galaxy at 15 and Radiator Springs Racers at 75. 
So we're actually gonna go to Spider-Man Web Slingers, which is posted at five minutes. Now this has happened to us before, and by the time we get over there, it's not five minutes. So we're gonna see how that works out today. So this uh, billboard up here was under construction the other day. And we're gonna see if, you know, is this like new or something? It's it's Wally. I think Wally's always been here. Maybe they just added the, the Christmas lights. Maybe those have always been here. Or it's a new board. And we or it's a new board. board. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look at old videos because I am not that observant of a person. Spark a special moment. I don't care what anybody else says, I love DCA, okay? You can argue with me in the comments if you want. Uh, I've heard people call it worthless and pointless and whatever, but I love DCA. It's just so much more relaxing in the morning, especially, and we could just get so much done. I love it. So I get asked all the time, I'm going to be here for four days. Do you suggest two days in Disneyland and two days in DCA? Or what would you suggest? If you're here for four days, I don't know, either two days in each or you get a hopper for all four days is probably what I would do. That way you can just hop back and forth. Because this part, Disneyland is very easy to hop compared to Disney World. Disney World takes you, you know, 30 minutes to an hour to hop parks. Here it takes you five minutes. A little tidbit that I shared in a recent video that a lot of you didn't seem to know, and it was also a longer video, so I feel like not a lot of you watched it. So I'll share it here, is that if you buy a park hopper, it is good for the entire duration of your visit for one flat price of $60 a person. If you're here for two days, $60 a person for your whole trip. If you're here for five days, $60 a person for your whole trip. It does not cost more because you are here more days. Now, if you are here for only one day, it's $65 a person because Disney knows that most people only get a single day to Disneyland and they decide to charge you more money because of it. A bit more people in Avengers Campus now. Still pretty open, but there's uh, there's more people milling around the area. If you're not into Spider-Man, an alternative idea is to go up to Soren. It's still a five minute wait as well. And that one, when you get in line, the line hardly moves. So I just feel like, you know, doing it when the line is shorter is preferable because of how long and slow loading that ride is. Okay, uh, this does not look five minutes. That does not look like a five minute wait. Did you start the timer? She's starting it now. We do this all the time. Got to find out. I stopped my timer from last night. Ooh. I to stop when we it. got in line for the dragon coaster yeah. at Legoland. Yeah. So James usually beats me at this game and he wants to demonstrate how he beats me. That's how he beats me right there. Wear himself out already. <laughs> Good, wear himself out. I might beat him for once if his arms are tired. Well, we were doing a really good job, but yeah. what's it saying? Temporarily closed. Lovely. So we're stuck just waiting right here. Well, we just got to this point and it was 21 minutes. Now, that was because the ride broke down and we were standing there a while. That also includes the pre-show. So 21 minutes for the ride breaking down for probably about 10 minutes and the pre-show. Without the pre-show, or I mean, without the ride breaking down, it probably would have been about 11 minutes. I think this is the first time that I got facing this direction, so I can see uh, the other people. But here we are, and uh, I'm too competitive to film during the ride, so we'll catch it. Oh look! Spider-Man colors on the magic band, that's fun. And once again, I had 181,000, and Amy had 240. I don't get it! I don't get it! How does she beat me every time? Amy just has his little cheeky grin. I thought I was losing at first because you were creaming me on the first level and then I redeemed myself. Uh, well, 9.15 a.m. That was a little longer than we expected because of the breakdown. But Soren, amazingly, is still a five minute wait. So uh, I think we're gonna go up and give that a try now. Amy's hungry and she's like, I wanna get some food. But these ride wait times are so good. I just can't justify ignoring them right now. <laughs> Now, as a reminder, today is an Oogie Boogie Bash day. It is a Sunday. Oogie Boogie Bash days are every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. That means that if you have one park per day, you are choosing Disneyland today to avoid getting kicked out at 6 p.m. So I do expect the, the wait times to be lower until 3 p.m. when the mix-in starts with the event. And here it is. Wow, Soren. Yeah. I mean, I think the line is sticking out of the line, but this is, this is great. Yeah, definitely five minutes, maybe 10 tops. 
So the biggest benefit of Soren in the morning is there is no lightning lane, and that's what really slows this ride down. Uh, if you are only here for a couple of days, I'd highly recommend Genie Plus. As a person who does not buy Genie Plus, I appreciate when there's nobody in line. <laughs> well, we just haven't stopped. We just keep walking. This is this is nice. This is really 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 nice. Are you holding my hand today on Soren? No. No? You're a big boy? Yeah. You're almost six. You turned six this week? Yeah. Soren to tower. We are ready for takeoff. That was easily the fastest that we've ever gotten on Soren before. It was perfect and amazing. Um, Luigi's and Mater's are at 15 minute waits. Soren is now a 15 minute wait. Spider-Man is closed again. Um, Toy Story Midway Mania is up to a 35 minute wait. And Radiator Springs Racers is actually down to a 55 minute wait. This is what I've been trying to communicate in these videos for a while now, that the rope drop surge is always longer than like after nine o'clock because this massive rush goes straight at eight and then it actually dies down before it starts to get busy again. So really between nine and 10 a.m. is your best time to ride those super huge like chase type rides, Radiator Springs Racers and Rise of the Resistance over at Disneyland. If 55 minutes still sounds really high for you, you have two options. You can either purchase an individual lightning lane for that ride or you can single rider ride that line if you are over the age of seven. Unfortunately for us, because Benjamin- Benjamin's up there. Not quite. <laughs> wrong kid, they're both in black shirts today. <laughs> Unfortunately, Benjamin is not even six yet. He's turning six next Saturday. We cannot ride that single, single rider. rider I know, it'll be great once he's once seven. Once he's seven, it's gonna be amazing. We grabbed a quick bite to eat at Flo's V8 Cafe for a separate video. And now we want to ride some of the Halloween rides here at Disney California Adventure. That's Mater's Junkyard Jamboree, or rather a Graveyard Jamboree, and Luigi's Honkin' Halloween. So we're going to go to Mater's first. It says it's a 10 minute wait in the app and it's 10 a.m. So uh, the official window for the golden hour, eight to nine is the best golden hour, but I honestly consider it eight to 10 uh, golden hours, if you will, for some of the best wait times. But uh, yeah, we're still getting some decent waits here. So we're gonna go to Mater's. Hopefully it should be just 10 minutes for us. I feel like this is a pretty well-known hidden Mickey, but I love pointing it out. Rust in peace, that's what he just said. <laughs> So the ride isn't any different, obviously. It's just uh, some different audio. And he just, he just, it's <laughs> getting your head off. And he just said that it is Mater's Junkyard Jam Boo-ry. And it looked like Mater's just broke. Things are breaking on us today. Sorry yeah. time. That's, that's odd. Here they are, wave Benji. We just came out of the bread tour to get a piece of bread and we saw this really, really long line and it's for the bread cart here. And it's because they have Baymaxes for sale. That's awesome, I love it. Next to the baby center, we found this really cute height chart. Okay, so Benjamin is, yep, what, like, like we said, about an inch too shy, half an inch, maybe too shy. And James, come over here next to the numbers. There you go. Oh, he is four and a half exactly. So you're 50, you're 54 inches. Almost, almost 54 inches. You're like a centimeter away from electric eel at SeaWorld. That's just awesome because it's the baby care center, of course, and you're growing with Baymax. I love it. Now we're headed to Luigi's Honkin' Halloween. Radiator Springs Racers down to a 45 minute wait. 
at 10.30. That's awesome. Now it is 30 minutes before hopping time. Once we get to 11 o'clock, some of the Disneyland guests will inevitably hop over here. Now Luigi's Honkin' Halloween isn't really that great of a wait. It's 20 minutes. This is a slow loading ride, but we will wait it. It has been a minute. And by saying that, I mean it's been a while <laughs> since we have gone on this ride. Look at the tire pumpkins! That's cool! And actually, thankfully, the line looks less than 20 minutes. So this is, this is good. I don't know what the weight is on this, though, because I hardly ever ride this, so I can't eyeball it. But we'll have Amy time it. And there's the big uh, print for Honkin' Halloween. So just like at Mater's, the uh, only thing that's different is that they've changed the music here. And they have, uh, you know, a little bit of decorations. But otherwise, the ride functions the same way. This time I'm riding with Benjamin, James, and Amy are right back there in the other orange one. There he is, he's waving. Yeah. 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 Oh, you ready for the spin cycle? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Well, the rest of the things we have planned this morning are just uh, getting some food and burgers. Then we might end up hopping over to Disneyland. Yeah. Well, we're going to call the end of this rope drop video either way. How do you feel we did this morning? I don't think we did too bad. I think we could have done maybe a little bit better if things hadn't broken on us. But otherwise, I still feel like we got a lot done, though. We definitely did. Uh, we got... Yeah. We rode uh, six rides in two and a half hours. And we ate some food as well. So yeah, not, not bad. You know, if it's just sheer number of rides, you can cram in way more by doing all of the Pixar Pier rides, which are kind of still floating around the five minute mark. But, you know, get the ones that get longer later because you can do aerials whenever, really. Usually aerials you can do with about no weight. However, we have had days where Ariel's has been a 30 minute wait, and on those days we're like, yeah, the park's really busy. And uh, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button. Click this video to keep watching. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.